construction? Come on. <laughs> Road construction is really cool. It takes teamwork to build a road. And in this case, we're going to show you how the men and women of the crew, plus their awesome machines, build a road. We're also going to interview a man and a lady who are project engineers for the State Department of Transportation. Like I said, road construction is teamwork. There are many different jobs and big machines they go into building a road. It takes people who operate cranes, policemen to direct traffic, drivers who drive bulldozers and lifters, workers who dig, and engineers who design the whole thing. a lot of money and a lot of people to build a road right. And if it's not done right, the taxpayer gets mad. But if it's done well, you get a great road to drive on. Let's look at some of the machines and some of the people who build a road. When a road is built, the first job is to clear the land. Bulldozers are perfect for that. Bulldozers move on broad tracks, so they're able to go over soft, uneven ground. They have a huge blade in the front and rippers in the back. The blade is used to push things, and the rippers dig up dirt. Driving a bulldozer is not like driving a truck. The right and left tracks are controlled separately by levers or foot pedals. To turn, the driver releases power from one track. This allows the other track to move the dozer around. A good driver can operate a bulldozer very well using both his hands and feet. Let's look at a bulldozer in operation. Back 
backhoes and diggers are able to dig out ditches in big holes. Backhoes are very common at building sites. The smaller ones move on wheels, and the bigger ones are usually on crawler treads. Backhoes and excavators have a long arm with a bucket at the end. The arm and shovel can swivel on top of the tracks, making it a very useful and versatile digger. The operator sits in the cab and controls the bucket with his hands and feet. Now let's watch a backhoe. are big machines that are usually on wheels. They have a giant scoop in the front and are mainly used to transport dirt and other material from one location to another. Often they are used to put stuff in the back of a truck. Loaders have long arms that let them reach real high with their load. Here's a loader working.
while project engineer for the highway department makes sure that the contractor builds the roads in the way that we want him to, that he make, that everything's right and it's going to be safe for everybody to drive on. What kind of equipment do you use to build the road? Well, we use cranes to build bridges with to lift things up in the air. We use excavators, which could be front end loaders or dozers or scrapers or backhoes to dig the roadbed out and build the roadbed so we can load the material in a dump truck and haul it off. What's a road made of? Well, a road is made of rock, and we have two different kinds of surfaces that we usually use. One's asphalt, which is black, and we put asphalt and mix it with rock, and you use a roller. Or we have what's called concrete, and that's rocks and cement mixed together with water. That makes a real hard surface. How many people does it take to build the rest? It depends on the size of the road that you're building. It can take anywhere from one person up to 200 people to build a road. What are the different jobs involved in building a road? Well, there's the inspectors who make sure the contractor does his job right. And then there's the contractor, and he has carpenters who build wood, to build bridges. They work with wood. We have iron workers who lay the steel down to make the bridge work right. And we have uh, laborers who shovel dirt and rock, and operators who drive all the big pieces of equipment. There's all sorts of different people out there, and they all work together to make us a road. What kind of challenges do you come across when you build? We run into all kinds of challenges to build a highway. First of all, there's environmental considerations that we have to worry about. That's that we protect the land and the water and the fish and the animal life along our highways. Uh, we have to protect the people against noise from the highways. That, and then when you're actually building the project, you can run into all sorts of stuff when you dig into the ground and into the street that you didn't know was there. And it creates a different kind of challenge because you have to figure out how to make the things work and work around the existing conditions that are there. Why do you build the road? Well, we build roads so people can get from one place to another, uh, so we can get our stuff to the stores. So that people can have to the jobs and school. When people build homes out in the country or someplace far away, we have to build roads so they can get into town and do all sorts of things they need to do. How long do roads last? Roads can last for varying periods of time. It depends on what they're made out of. Roads made out of asphalt, which is the black stuff that goes down on the road, usually last about 20 years before we have to do any repairs to them. Roads built out of concrete, which is the white paving, that usually lasts 40 years without any maintenance work to be done on them. Although cranes are more common at building sites where a skyscraper is being built, they are also used during road construction to lift heavy things like bridge supports and I-beams. because they can lift such heavy loads. A good crane operator can put a huge load just where the workers need it.
Road graders and scrapers are used to flatten and level the road. A grader has a giant blade underneath it. The blade catches the dirt and flattens it out. Graders can swivel in the middle, so the front and back cards are able to travel down the road on slightly different paths. Graders are very common in road construction because they make the ground flat enough to be paved and then driven on. Look at all these machines and people at work.